welcome to my channel. So in today's video I've partnered with Cupshe. I have previously worked with them before and I absolutely love their swimwear. This video will be slightly different. I do have some bikinis and now they do have some dresses and cover-ups on their website so I do have a few of those to show you. So without further ado let's just get straight into the video. I wanted to put a little bit of a different spin on this video. I wanted to kind of give you guys some tips on how to feel confident in bikinis. I know in today's society that there is so much pressure, especially from social media. When I was growing up in secondary school, we didn't have Instagram, so the pressures came from like magazines, people I was surrounded by. And I found that in my group of friends, they were quite slim and I started to develop like curves. I started to get a smaller waist and bigger hips and that was just like not the norm back then. So it has taken me years to love but now I love my body I'm so grateful for it. I'm grateful that I'm healthy, I'm happy, I'm so much more confident now than what I was back then. So I wanted to give you guys a few little tips today. So I'm going to start off with the first bikini that I have on. This is the Michelle striped bikini. It is in the plus size section so all of the bikinis I'm going to show you today are from the plus size section. Now this is obviously vertical stripes but growing up I used to avoid stripes that went horizontal because I believed they make me look bigger and I was always told that vertical stripes were supposed to be more slimming but I literally just go for whatever print or style I like. I don't always tend to go for styles or prints or patterns that are more flattering to my body type. So I absolutely love this one. It is just navy white and lemon. I don't have anything like in these colours or in stripes either so this is a great change up to my bikini collection. So it does have nice thick straps that are adjustable any areas on a bikini that are adjustable i love just because i feel like it is more suited to any sort of body shape we do have some nice supportive thick straps if you are bigger busted obviously i'm not they do have a removable padding as well and this is such nice quality it's a very well made it does have like a nice little band bit there the top was 19.99 and the bottoms were 13.99 so i think it's so cheap and affordable for a nice little cute bikini sometimes you don't really want to splurge out um, and Cupshe is great for that because they have such affordable prices. So I did get the top in a 2X. I might have been able to get away with a size down, but it still fits very well. I haven't got all the girls hanging out either, which is great. If you're bigger busted, then you will have obviously some cleavage on show, but there is a lot of coverage. So there's gonna be a nice bit of support there. Just showing you the back that is like a little clasp. So it's not fully adjustable, just the straps are. As for the bottoms, these aren't something I would usually go for. I find a lot of plus size bikinis always sort of have high-waisted bottoms and they do cover a lot of your stomach because obviously that is typically an area women are more conscious of, especially like someone like myself. I've always been conscious of my stomach. High-waisted does give you like some nice coverage and support there. It kind of holds you in a little bit. My stomach has taken me years to love. All I can kind of say on that is just wear whatever you want to wear. I don't really care what others think about me or how I look or what I'm wearing, if it flatters me, if it don't flatter me, because their opinion is irrelevant to me. You need to be happy and confident within yourself and your body. These I got in a size 2X. They are so stretchy. They have a lot of room to them. They are probably like the perfect fit, I would say, because they are kind of supportive, but they're not really tight and kind of like pushing out any fat, which I tend to hate because sometimes I get a size too small and they kind of like push out my hips a bit and it's not as flattering. But these ones are literally perfect. It's such a comfy set. The back is more full coverage. It will cover the cheeks a bit more, but I still have quite a bit of cheek on show. So yeah, that's the first bikini. Definitely recommend. It's so comfy. It is very well made as well and very cheap and affordable. Okay, so this is the next bikini. The bottoms are the Anna High Waisted Bottoms. They are $13.99. I got them in a 2X and the top I got in a 2X as well. And this is the Cecilia lace up top and it was $16.99 so I feel like you know how they say everyone needs a little black dress I do feel like you need a black bikini as well you literally can't go wrong with black so I had to pick this one up I really like the style of this one it is a nice v-neck so it still gives a lot of support and coverage for your girls but also it gives a little bit of cleavage as well and then it does have sort of like this crisscross sort of ruching detail going on at the front it does have removable padding and then the back does have lace up detailing if you guys know me by now you know I love a little something going on in the back I just think it adds a little something as well to a plain solid color and then the bottoms are much more high-waisted than the previous ones so I do feel like they are a great fit again for a 2x I definitely need a 2x I can pull them right up into my waist which is how I like to wear my bikini bottoms I do feel like sometimes this area gets a little bit pinched and kind of 
doesn't create the most flattering shape but I feel like that is just what happens on my body shape personally I find no matter what kind of high-waisted bottoms I have it they all do the same thing so another tip I want to give you guys is to stop comparing yourself to others on social media I have done this in the past but because I've been on social media for many years and I know like all the tips and tricks I know that women only shoot in their best angles I do the same sometimes but then I like to take pictures where I'm showing the other side of that where they're not the most flattering angles. I do have cellulite, I've got back fat, I've got stomach rolls. So I like to kind of have like an equal balance. I know that obviously we choose the best lighting as well. I do this all the time. I have, you know, my camera and my flashlight. So we are literally all showing the best parts of our lives, which is something you have to remember. We don't want to always show like the negative side or the lows of our of our life just because you do get sucked into the pressures of having to have like this perfect life and only showing like all the positives and all the achievements you've made but every single person is having ups and downs regardless of what it is in their life so that's why I know not to compare myself to others because I know that they're showing the, the perfect parts of their lives on Instagram or YouTube. So yeah, that is another tip for you guys. So going, getting back to the bikini, I love this one. It gives enough coverage and support. Again, I feel like this would be a perfect bikini if you are a new mum. It gives a lot of coverage on the stomach. Also, before I forget, just to show you the back. So this one is more full coverage on the back than the other ones. There is only like a little bit of cheek on show. Again, you can mix and match these pieces. So it's very versatile. You could put it with another solid print or even pattern bottoms. Okay, so the next bikini we have is the Cora Lace Up Plus Size Top. This was $19.99 and I got it in a 2X. And the bottoms are the Cora Floral Plus Size Bottoms. I got them in a 2X again and they were $17.99. So I'll start off with the tops. It's coming off really bright on camera, but it is a nice kind of deep, dark orange in a way it kind of like resembles like a nice pumpkin color so it is a lovely ripped top it is slightly v-necked and obviously it does have removable padding as the title said it is a lace-up back so you can sort of make it tighter or looser i absolutely love this set the top is again perfect for bigger boobs this one is very full coverage compared to the other ones there's not really going to be much on show so if you are bigger busted definitely recommend this one i did forget to mention that this is obviously from the plus size section they go up to a 4x in the plus size but they do have bikinis that go from extra small to extra large but yeah this is amazing quality it's such a nice ribbed material it's so comfy and cozy on the skin the bottoms are gorgeous i love like the contrasting detail with like a solid color and then having a print these bottoms again are very full coverage and high waisted so if you are a new mum or you're conscious of your stomach then these are perfect for you absolutely love the print obviously the orange does match the orange in the bottoms and i think it's just a nice fun summery print the bottoms again are very full coverage there's not going to be much of your cheeks on show so again perfect if you don't want all your cheeks on show so i'm going to give like two tips in one i think for this one so the first one is find a swimsuit or a bikini that you feel comfortable in that you think flatters you it can literally be any shape or style i feel like you kind of have to play around with what you find is flattering or suits you best you might want to just look up your body shape and find what is typically the most flattering style or prints or patterns on you i do kind of want to stand by that you don't need to go with what the typical or the normal is just wear whatever you want to wear wear what you feel comfortable in kind of relating to that tip don't put yourself down like when you look in the mirror if you've got underwear on or even a bikini don't pick out all the bits that you don't like about yourself like sometimes i might look in the mirror and think oh my stomach looks big in this or it's not that flattering don't do that that is literally like the worst thing you can do look in the mirror and give yourself positive thoughts pick out the things that you do like about yourself and accentuate them if you really want to okay so this one is the josie leopard bow knot plus size bikini top and it was 19.99 and i got it in a 2x and then the bottoms are the josie brown ruched high-waisted bottoms again i got them in a 2x and they were 15.99 so this is very similar to like the last one in the terms of like the mix and match with the print and the solid color however this is the opposite way around i love the color i've saved this one till last because it is my favorite so it does have like a little tie knot here and then it does have like a little cutout detailing here so it kind of gives a little bit of boobage um and again it's still like very great coverage you will have obviously a bit of cleavage here and here it does have removable padding nothing is adjustable on this bikini it is just a typical bralette style bikini top i think the color goes so well with my skin tone and hair the same as the bottom so they do have a bit of ruching on the side which kind of like makes it a little bit more flattering it's obviously a little bit more pinchy around this area again 
but it's similar to the previous two where it is very full coverage, very high waisted, so it gives a nice sort of tummy control. The bottoms again are the same as the other ones, they are very full coverage, there's not really much cheek on show. But yeah, like I said, this one is definitely my favourite, it's so flattering, it's so comfortable, they are a lovely quality, they are a really nice material as well. So my last tip for you guys is... There is no such thing as being bikini body ready. I absolutely hate that term when people say that they need to be bikini body. You don't need to be. You can be whatever size, shape you wanna be and be bikini body ready, it's just period, end of. <laughs> you don't need to fall into these fad diets or juice cleanses or anything to quickly lose weight if you wanna be bikini body ready. No, just please don't do it. You are bikini body ready at any stage. Obviously, if you don't feel comfortable in a bikini, wear a swimsuit. If you don't feel confident in either, then buy a really nice cover up. There's just so many different options, so many different styles and shapes and prints and colours for you guys to wear. And just follow all the previous tips that I've suggested. I hope like one of these tips will help or work out for one of you guys. You know, these tips are ones that I stand by, they're ones that I've put into practice myself. But yeah, so just please just work on yourself, maintain a happy, healthy lifestyle. I do have a few dresses to show you guys, so let's get into those. So I feel like this dress is a great one to start with because it gives me similar vibes to the last bikini. So this is the Khaleesi Leopard Cut out dress it was $42 and I picked all the dresses up in an extra extra large I do feel like I could have sized down a little bit for this dress but it still kind of fits perfectly but I just feel like it's a little bit looser sort of around here but I do have a smaller waist starting off with sort of like the top half this is very booby obviously if you don't like a lot of your boobs out on show then probably not the the dress for you but I think it's so cute I love sort of like cut out detailings the front is a little bit elasticated so there is room if you're a little bit bigger obviously if you are bigger busted just be a bit wary of like the coverage around this area the straps are adjustable but nothing else on the dress is i do feel like it cinches me in nicely at the waist put you guys down a tad this is very long it comes right down to look for my feet it does have a slit at the side i love slits in dresses i just find it very like classy and it just adds a little something the dress does also have a lining inside that is a bit shorter so it's not going to be see-through for the most part the back i forgot to say does have sheer and elastic so it is stretchy it will give you some room if you need it and then the rest of the dress isn't it isn't stretchy at all but obviously there's a lot of materials obviously if you do have bigger hips and it is perfect for you there's still a bit of room again it's very well made it's very nice quality for 42 pounds i do feel like the price is very reasonable this next one is the hadley leopard tie slip dress and it was 36 dollars. so this one is probably like my least favorite just because i don't feel like it's the most flattering on me and the material is not kind of like my favorite material so the straps are obviously tie you can make them a bit looser or tighter and then it does have like a cute little ruffle detailing here and kind of along the front and then it does have like sort of a bit of seam contouring for the boobs it's not like proper obvious um and then it does kind of cinch me in a little bit of the waist but I just feel like this sort of little part of the dress isn't as flattering as it could be on me and then it is just like a nice sort of long dress it comes above sort of my ankles the material is a nice cotton material but it's not like stretchy at all and it will crease very easily so it's not typically like the material that I would go for it is a nice solid color so it's not going to be see-through which is great and again I really I picked it up because I really love like the style and the color of it something a little bit different it kind of gives me like autumn me fall vibes as well so while we're kind of transitioning from summer to autumn at the moment the temperatures are a bit up and down this is perfect for like the low 20s that we have here because I do get hot very easily it does have a hidden sort of zip here which I didn't realize I was trying to put it on sort of from the bottom up and it wouldn't go past my hip so I had to put it over my head and I've just realized there is a zip there so you can get it on easily so the back just follows kind of like the same as the front it's just very plain it just has the print all the way around just pop you guys down a little bit lower so you can kind of see the length that it comes to I feel like it's great for my hips as well it kind of just skims over them I still have like a tiny bit of room okay next up we have the Whitley tropical dress this was $36 I do feel like I should have sized down for this one. An extra large would have fitted a bit better than this. But I kind of like the oversized vibe just because I would wear it as a cover up. And I do feel like this dress is probably maybe more suited to that. Starting off at the top is a very, very low V cut. Um, I do have a little bralette on. So I feel like it could have just been a little bit more 
covered up here um but obviously if i've got bikini on then it don't really matter the sleeves are a nice sort of like bat wing oversized sleeve it does have a nice sort of shearing elastic as a waist so it is stretchy and then it does just like flow down this dress does come to a nice point on me again it's just right above my ankles it is a nice little slit detail again we love that it is like a little bit more sheer on the bottom half which is why i think this is great for a bikini cover-up or if you have like a little slip, you could put that under and then you could wear it as like a dress out. That's what the back looks like, pretty similar to the front. It's very light and airy, which I like. It kind of like just sort of skims over your skin and just sits there. Okay, so lastly, we have like one of my favorite dresses. This is the Juliana split dress. It is $36 again. It's just a gorgeous, bright florally print. I absolutely love the colors in this. This is definitely like a me dress. So it does have like a nice v-neck detailing here. Something a little bit different, which I don't have on any of my dresses, is it ties at the top and that makes the straps tighter or looser. So I do need to make it a little bit tighter. And then it does have like a nice elasticated waistband that is super stretchy, but also fits me quite nicely. So it kind of cinches me in a little bit. You can see again, it's slightly similar length to all the other ones. It does have two slits in the front and for a 2XL, I would say this actually fits pretty nicely. If you want to wear any of these dresses as a cover-up, you can also do that. It does have like a tiny, tiny bit of stretch in the material. It's kind of similar to that leopard print dress where it is that cotton material that will crease. It is a thin, lightweight material. It's not see-through. So they were all the items I have to show you today. I hope you guys enjoyed the tips that I gave you. If you have any more tips, then please leave them down below. So I want to give you guys like my top picks. It would definitely have to be the last two bikinis that I tried on. I absolutely love those. And I'd definitely say the last two dresses as well that I tried on. I will leave all the links down below in the description box if you want to check any of them out. Let me know which was your favourite bikini and your favourite dress. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.